Good morning, collective. We're going to do a quick energy check. See what your spirit guides, your ancestors, the universe want you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey and ascending to your highest good. I've already meditated, called in the appropriate protection. This is the time this evening, so it's whatever it finds you. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. I hope you guys woke up in peace, inviting harmony and positivity, love, compassion, kindness into your mind, body, and soul. Make sure you guys are doing what you love to do. Some of you guys are having a timeline shift. A timeline shift. So they said you are important. You are healed. A lot of you guys have been healing you guys at night. A lot of you guys are energy healers. You guys have been getting visions. You guys are increasing your spiritual connection. A A A abundance. God is about to place you on a global public platform. Who's all those eyes watching you? a clear audience a lot of you guys did the work properly and you're getting rewarded you're in alignment willpower look at you guys <laughs> There's been a timeline shift here for you guys. Confirmation. My computer just went crazy. You guys increase your spiritual connection. 
You study your willpower. You guys are in alignment, right place, right time. A lot of you guys are energy healers. Spirit's been healing you guys. Getting you guys ready. A lot of you guys get visions, clear audience, hearing, spirit. A A A abundance. Everything is working out. Everything is as is. It's meant to be. You did the work properly, Spirit said. You did the work properly. You got a lot of people watching you. spiritual connection there's been a timeline shift here you guys are in your confidence standing your throne you guys are equally balanced you know what it's like to be with and be without you guys stood humbled That's the truth. You guys are standing in your sort of truth, your, your true authenticness. And you don't care who's watching you. You're doing this with passion. You're doing this with willpower, with the love of knowing. You guys are highly protected. You're like, I don't care who sees. I don't care. Who sees? I'm gonna stand in this sort of truth, this wand of truth. You're standing up for yourself and your beliefs with confidence. You guys are choosing your battles wisely. You realize I don't have to attend every argument or fight that I'm invited to. I know which ones to attend and which ones to not to attend. I know which ones. I'm going to address and which ones my spirit guides in the universe and the divine has my back on. And that's just point blank period. You guys could be, oh, spirit show me this beautifully right now. You guys know what it's like. You guys are balanced. You know what it's like to be creative, being your feminine side, right? And then you guys know what it's like to be a spiritual fucking warrior. You have to put that armor down and connect to source. Look at that armor. She put that armor down and she says, Spirit, what is this? What is this shift of feminine? Why are people starting with me? Why is my name in these people's mouths? She connects to source. Spirit told her, sit tight, baby girl. Or baby boy. Wherever it is, take it where it resonates. We got this. And that's exactly what she did. Or he. You did the work properly. You're getting rewarded for it. A A A. Spirit is healing you guys. Spirit is healing you guys. What is that spirit guy doing? Touching you, touching your hands, your energy healers. A lot of you guys are energy healers. A lot of you guys have been picking up so many energies throughout these years that it's caused it's caused pain in your body. Aches and pains and chronic pains. And spirit's like, no, that's not what it is. You've been, you've been absorbing all these negative, toxic energies without realizing that you are a healer. 
you have not been cleansing and clearing your energy and that's what's being stuck in your energetic field and causing you to feel old broken and spirit is healing you back to life Some of you guys, it's your pets. When they get close to you, it's being illuminated. You're learning something new. The cosmos is here. They're healing you. You gain the enlightenment. You're getting the, the enlightenment here. These people were the red flags and they were causing you guys to feel old, broken, chronic pain. Guys, I can never make this up. I tell you this all the time. I tell you guys this all the time. Since 2016, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Since I started my spiritual journey, I do not feel that chronic pain. I don't. It was everybody else's energy, the negative karmics, the energy, the people, places, things, and emotions I was giving my energy to. And because I didn't know about this, I wasn't doing spiritual baths, I wasn't cleansing, I wasn't in alignment, my chakras was all And it caused me to get this pain. Ever since my spiritual awakening, that bump right here, gone. Um, I stand taller, um, the pain is gone. The only time I feel that pain is when I'm with around people that are negative, karmic energies, people that are are negative energies. I'm picking up their energies. And I realize, and for since 2016, I've been diagnosed with that chronic pain. I've been diagnosed with that pain. And I, I had, there was there was times I couldn't even get up out the bed. I couldn't even lift my own head up. That's how bad the pain was. I just wanted to lay there. You could hear my bones right here go clack, 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 clack. My chakras were so fucking out of whack. I needed to cleanse spiritually, my spirit, my mind, body, and soul, and get in alignment. Ever since I've awakened to my journey, that pain is gone. Spirit had to show me. <laughs> and that's why Spirit makes us cut these people off. That's what makes, Spirit tells us, get near those bodies and waters, cleanse, detoxify, cut the cords from these people. Cut the cords. Anybody who's showing you a red flag that's hurt you, betrayed you, backstabbed you, did shit just to... These red flags were illuminated to me. They were illuminated to me and I had to cut each and every person out of my life so that I could get on my destined path. You increase your spiritual connection. There's been a timeline shift here for somebody. You start learning, growing, increasing your spiritual connecting, learning and wanting to know more, studying. Some of you guys need to look up the, the spiritual meaning of a rabbit. Tell me what that means, guys. You're being rewarded. You did the work. I'm telling you guys, my my back, my right here, this this cavity, whatever this is called. And right here, people say, oh my God, you sound like you're gonna break. It was like clack, 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 clack. Every day, everywhere I walk. I, I used to have to walk with my kids everywhere. One of my kids had to come with me everywhere I went, just in case I needed them to step on my back. Because it might, it was bad. I tell you guys about that story too. The one time I was sitting there meditating, this was in the beginning of my med learning how to meditate. And I felt the archangels. 
into the room. And all of a sudden, I just felt hands right here. Push my head down like that. They pushed my head down like that, softly. And it didn't scare me. Because I, I, I grew up always with paranormal activity around my home. Every apartment I went to, there was always some kind of, my spirit guides have always been there with me. So I've learned to, to identify when it's something bad and when it's something not that good. And they put their hands like that to me. And I just stood there and all of a sudden, right here from back here, the heat rose. And I felt that energy shift out of me. It was amazing. It was amazing. I can never make this up. I love you, Archangels. Thank you for surrounding me right now. I can never make this up. I can never make this up. They came through. They came through. They helped me. They healed me. They healed me. <laughs> I can never make this up. They came down and healed me. And fibromyalgia, there's no way of identifying it. It's just like they tender, 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 point, point, point. There's no fucking cure for it. They just say, is that pressure, pressure, pressure? I was going to chiropractors, doing therapy. The medicines that they try to get me on was so nasty. They used, to try, they used to try to drug me. And I used to work in corporate America. I used to deal with business credit, personal people's credit too. I can't be meeting my clients like that, drugged up. So I never was able to take the, the medicine. I was never able to take the medicine. There was no, there was no relief for me. This was constant. Time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. It was getting so bad that at times, collective, you don't know what I went through. There were times I would be woken up, I would get up, and I would try to get up to move, and my body, my, it started with my arms. They started getting paralyzed. I couldn't move them. I would be up, but and I would have to like call for my daughters to come and help me, like massage. Whatever pain that used to come down here, spirit got rid of everything. They got rid of it. Spirit got rid of it. There was times I couldn't even move. <laughs> I was by myself at home. They already had moved out. It was just me. And that happened to me. And I got so scared. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, if there was a fire and I couldn't get up and move out of my bed, like, but I realized now it was the energies that I was picking up throughout my whole life. <laughs> Spirit came down and they released it. Was, the, the heat came out. I felt that just so vivid. Like, I was like, <sighs> and I just stood there because I knew what was happening. I knew Spirit came down and they were helping me. was the beginning of my awakening feeling that energy feeling spirit that close to me it was so angelic it was never scary and and they did that a couple of times during my meditation they they did it in like increments in, in sessions every time they would come 
the heat would rise out from here. They would release it. I'm not lying. I can never. I can never make this up. I can never make this up. I can never make it up. And a lot of you guys are going through a timeline shift. You're increasing your spirituality. Yeah, look at seeing from a higher perspective. A lot of you guys are energy healers. You're meant to help people heal the way spirit healed me. A lot of you guys, you're, it's your hands, it's your energy, your direct connection to source. Spirit uses you as a vessel there around me. So, you guys, they use you as the vessel. going through this. Vivid only makes me talk about this once in a while. When somebody's going through this. This is how I felt. All that energy lifting out of my body. I can never make it up. I slept like a baby that night. Empathic starcy, energetic sovereignty. Absorbing what's not yours. What am I talking about? Somebody is going through this. Somebody is going through this. Somebody who's a healer. Somebody's okay, spirit. You're in the right place at the right time. You gain that willpower. Yeah, somebody's getting a message. Somebody felt that. We really want you guys to know that they're helping you heal. They're healing you. Don't be scared. You guys did the work properly. Spivet is rewarding you guys. Spivet, you're freaking me out. I'm not scared of it. I'm never scared of my ancestors. Of the highest my life. Deep cellular healing. Arcturious energy. Physical and emotional healing. They healed me. And they're healing you guys. We gotta hear that song one more time. A lot of healing out here. A lot of healing out here. Somebody's gaining a higher understanding of what's happening to them. Life's lessons. Your lessons are being about negative karmic energies that are no, no longer serving you. These could be family members that you grew up with, that you've been surrounded around your whole life. These could be loved ones that you're energetically giving energy to for years people that you've married this could be your children your best friends your co-workers people places things and emotions without properly healing somebody is learning something earth school life's lessons soul growth study and higher learning Somebody is learning what, what, what's going on with them right now. Somebody needed to get this message. Spirit said, no, don't turn that card. Star bathing. Light body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. I'm telling you, collective... If there's nothing you believe, believe this story. Guys, I'm not lying to you. I was in meditation like this lady. And those hands pushed my head down. And all of a sudden, that heat, that release. See this person laying here? The release. That was my first.
experience and my most beautiful this one I would never forget that that right there woke me up I said I know what the fuck just happened and I don't care what nobody says I'm not fucking crazy I know what I just felt the seven star sisters birthing creations tapestry of life and expression a lot of you guys are star seeds a lot of you guys, your family lineage from other star planets came down, are coming down to heal you. I've been talking about this a lot. The cosmic heart, devotion, willpower, make your life a moving prayer. Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful message, Spirit. I love you. Thank you for letting me get this message out to the collective. Anytime I get to talk about stuff I go through and help you guys, you know, that's what this is all about. It's about making sure that you guys don't feel alone and, 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 and telling telling you this, my story, you know, things that bless. <laughs> So that you guys don't give up on your, your your path so you don't lose hope on your path tap into that yang and this is exact this is how it felt their hands and the heat coming out from my back The higher powers came down because you're co-creating with them. I was meditating and all that heat came out. The higher powers stepped in. They knew I needed help releasing this. In order for me to do, do what I need to do, Spirit knew I needed to release this. They needed to help me to heal. I was in constant pain. It was a never-ending story of pain. A lot of you guys are clear audience. A lot of you guys see visions. A lot of you guys are energy healers. A lot of you guys, you're about to be on a global um, platform, giving your messages out, expressing your, your stories, what you've been through. Helping shine that light on other people in your communities. Doing this by the book so that you can go to Treasure Island, Spirit. Make, make them, make them believe, Spirit. Spirit, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank Don't back down. Don't stop your journey. Don't stop it. Mother Gaia came through. I created boundaries with these people, places, and things. I went to therapy. I started healing. I started journaling. I started gardening. I started tapping into the things I love to do, and it started bringing me fertility. I started finding true love for myself. The Spirit even had me go on a retreat with myself. I'll tell you that in another, another story. I'm not lying. I let go of the control issue. The Spirit said, easy does it. We got your back. Get in your bodies of water. Learn how to cleanse and, 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 and cleanse your energy. Go outside to Gaia. Let us help you, and I did. Love and light. 